So hello everyone and welcome you all to the channel my research support and friends in today's video we will be discussing about all in one document writer in 2025 and that is logically app so formerly it was f4 ai so you can easily generate write and cite within the single interface so without any further ado let's start now let us first discuss about generate something means how you can make use of the research assistant of this logically app to generate different sections of your research documents smartly so before you do that you have to first log in with your login credentials to this interface so i provided this link and discount related information in the video description you can refer to that and if you don't have any account then you can sign up for free now let me log in with my login credentials so this is the main home page so if you are completely new to this platform so you can go through these instructions on how to use this interface also i have prepared one video before i have kept that link also in this video description now let us say i will be working on one of the research documents so i need to click on create you need to name this document let us say i will be working on research proposal now you can easily create main sections and subsections under this research proposal so you have to simply click on this plus icon then you have to select main text heading 1 heading 2 etc now let us say my first subsection under this research proposal is introduction so i'll be selecting heading 1 this is introduction so let us say i need to generate this introduction section with the help of the research assistant feature of this logically app so here you will find that option so you have to click on research assistant then you can put your prompt here within this prompt box let us say i'll be putting this prompt write an introduction section for my research proposal based on magnesium alloy for automotive applications obviously this is very general prompt i have considered it only for demonstration so you can be very specific to yield great results and then enter so it is always recommended to carefully go through this text and if you want another version of this text then you have option to regenerate answer and if you think if this is the best suited text then you can click on add answer to the document when you will do that this text will appear in this formatting but if you want to remove this box then you have to click on remove formatting then you will see this information is appearing under your introduction section now let us discuss about rewriting something let us say you have written some of the text in your own words and now you need to improve the english or technicality then you can easily rewrite that text by using logically app within this document interface now let us say i have some piece of text that i have written in my own words and i need to insert this text into my document that i am writing on logically app so i have to copy it and then before i use that text within this document so i need to first rewrite that to make it technically strong so simply you have to type rewrite this text and you have to paste copy text just click on send and then you can see this you will be getting rewritten version for your text you can go through the text and if you think this is the best you can insert into the document and you also have option to regenerate answer so let me now insert the text here at this cursor position i need to click on add answer to this document so you can see this i need to click on remove formatting not only that but let us say if this is the section that I have generated by using this logically app but I need to modify this section then here itself within this interface you can start writing so that you will be adding few sentences and the same sentences again you can rewrite by using this research assistant. Now third and most important point is inserting different equations, tables, figures etc. So that also you can do by using this logically app. See this flexibility of inserting almost everything while writing your document within the single interface is given by a very limited number of AI tools and logically app is one of them. Now let us say at this point I need to insert one image under the introduction section of my research proposal. Then I need to click on this plus icon. You have to scroll down and then you have different choices you can insert table image code block code different types of equations etc so let us now click on image and let's click on this figure and you can see this this figure is appearing under my introduction section in similar fashion you can add different tables equations etc and along with that if you want to edit this equation so let us see if you want to edit any specific text then you have to select that text and then you have some text formatting options 
Now let's turn towards the last point, which is generating in-text citations and list of references. So this is really the most important step for any research document. And this Logically app has an access to over 1000 different citation styles. So you can easily provide citations and generate the list of references automatically by using this platform seamlessly. Now let us say I need to cite this text. So there are several ways of doing that. Means you can select that text and you can simply click on insert citation. Or let us say I need to cite the sources of specific research articles. Then I need to add all these research articles within this Logically app interface and then I need to click on this option your references so you can see this. So these are the research articles I have already added. So I personally recommend this option to move ahead with and then I can click on insert citation. Now let us say I have not added any research paper in my library. Then also you can cite the sources and for that you have to first type at the rate. Then this dialog box will appear where through this discover tab you can search for specific keywords and then you can click on insert citations. So in this way you can insert in-text citations and along with that you can see this at the end of this document bibliography is generated. Now let us say I don't want this citation style you have to click on settings and then under the citation styles you can have access to more than 1000 types of citation styles for different journals. Let us say for this journal then I need to click on that and you can see this in-text citations along with the list of references has updated to that style. So similarly you can opt any style according to specific journals requirement. And then finally once you finish writing your research document then you have to click on share and you have several other options to export your file like pdf, docx etc. So you can select that and export your file and you may rewrite your file if required in future. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this information will help you. So if you have any queries, write us through comments. We'll definitely try to answer all the comments. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.